Hey everybody, this is Karina Beckby, your Latinapreneur, and I'm doing another Skype video. And the other day I was asked a really quick and a very good question. Uh, somebody asked if they can do a search for people on Skype other than their um, other than their contact list. And yes, you can. I mean, advice that I would give at this point before I show you how to do that is that if you're going to do this, please do this with integrity and that you actually have some kind of um, reasoning as to why you are randomly searching for people. Um, don't be a solicitor on Skype. And you guys, that is against regulations um, to solicit on Skype. Uh, you know, it's almost like, you know, if somebody says, please don't solicit, no solicitors allowed, you know, it's, it's kind of the same process. And, you know, and, and again, do your due diligence when you reach out to people. Make sure you're doing it because you're actually wanting to be friends and not you're not just selling something or just being some creep on Skype, okay? So again, uh, just make sure you're doing this with good intentions when you're looking for um, somebody to connect with on Skype, okay? So here we go. So this is um, your profile, correct? And right now I'm using a Mac to show you how to do this. And what you will do is, whether you're on Mac or on a PC, what you're gonna do is go to your contacts, find contacts, scroll down to add contact, and right here, you know, you probably don't know who you're looking for. Um, you can do a random search for like a Debbie, um, and you can hit find. And obviously, you're going to see a bunch of Debbies that are going to populate, okay? And again, they're all over the place. But if you want to be a little bit more specific, um, say you don't want a Debbie, you just kind of want to reach out to somebody in your local area. Well, let's go to search options and you can hit the country that you're looking for. So let's say I'm in the United States and I'm looking for somebody in Florida and in Tampa as a city. And I do want the person to speak English. So where's English right there? And I want to talk to somebody that's between, you know, around, you know, my age, and I'm giving my age away right now, and somebody who's a female. So right now, as you see, Skype is populating the information, and these are all the um, ladies who are between the ages of 40 and 49 who speak English in Tampa, Florida. Now, if I wanted to, I can, like, you know, reach out to this person but again have, when you're going to do this have good intention have a, a reason why you're reaching out to them because trust me just like um, we women are very um, on the defensive side or just protective side and we'll be like you know what do you want kind of attitude so and this is with women and women and women and men so just make sure that when you reach out to a total stranger you're doing it with kindness and you're not really trying to be some creeper okay all right let me go ahead and cancel that and really that's all you you want to do and again because skype is a diverse place you can choose to be like in any country um or sorry any language and so for me i can probably type in spanish um and it's going to populate all the female ladies in tampa florida who speak spanish in the same age that i am and right now there's only one person so um again I hope this has helped you. I hope this has helped you uh, figure out how to use Skype a little bit better. And um, have a great time. Don't, don't be a creeper, you guys, okay? All right. Uh, do me a favor. Comment down below in this video and tell me if this has helped you in any way. Or if you have questions about other things regarding Skype, I would love to help you and find the answers to that. So go ahead, respond, share this, and like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.